with the PIR sensor. Nice touchless door opener, nice range, six foot at minimum on out. This one's on the swing side, so a little tricky to think about how you want to set them up and where you want to position those. If they see the door, it's just not going to work. You have to get them above the door. So, like I said, with, with a six foot range, this works real nice. When there's no motion, the door will shut. Coming in. So, with everybody going touchless and the coronavirus, this is really a nice option as opposed to buttons. Hi guys, so here we are with our PIR sensor. And in opening the box we have our instructions. We have the sensor itself. And we have a couple different mounts. Whichever you decide to use. I chose this one. So with our package, vacuum pack, here is our sensor and our wiring is on the back. This cover comes off the front and reveals our proximity sensor switch. So, what we'll do first is wire this and they're not exactly easy. I put mine in a vise just so it's not jumping around on me. So our DSW is normally closed, so that's the way we have to wear. This has a normally closed and a normally open option. Now these connectors are a little different for those of you who are not familiar. We push down on a tab. and insert your wire, release the tab, and the wire is locked. So that first one was my hot, an 8 DC 12 volt. This will be my negative. Push on the wire, push on your screwdriver, give it a little tug, make sure you're locked in. And I've got that one. So, there's my DC positive and negative. These are short. These are just for demonstration. I'm out of wire at the moment. Now we have to wire in our common and our normally open. So going by this block number three is common. Here again we push down on the tab. Insert the wire. I'm using 18 gauge solid core. I think you could probably run pretty small wire. I think 18 gauge is the biggest thing you can use with this. So I got my common and number four spot is our normally open.
Okay, so I'm all wired it. You might want to tag your wires. You might want to use different color wires. But at that point, I'm into our PIR. Next comes the comes our terminal blocks from the DSW. And it is really nice that these simply unplug. By all means, the diagram in your manual is, is definitely correct. So, they don't say in the manual or on the instructions that come with the PIR which is hot and which is negative. So, I just had to assume that number one is hot. Uh, here on the PIR, and it is definitely hot here. So, these are nice to work with. I like these terminal caps. If, if, you, if your wire is too small with these particular green terminal caps, you want to double check because sometimes that wire can slide to the side and you really haven't made contact. Okay, so there I have my, my hot and my ground. Next one on my third point down is my normally open. For me, that's my black wire. So, my wires are attached to those terminal points. Those will just plug in. This is just for demonstration. I use some short wires. In the real world, you want three, four foot of wire here, maybe even five, depending on your situation. Now, the next thing I want to show you is this cover remove comes off. And inside here, we've got two screws. This one over here, the white one on the I've got the eye on the top center. Over here we have proximity and over here we have focus or the width of the beam. So I found that by turning this proximity all the way over counterclockwise That dials it in for a six foot range. This beam, you'll, you'll have to work with it. it. It takes some time to adjust that iris. So it's, it's a little fussing around to get that beam where you want it to be. But keep in mind, it cannot see that door and You'll, you'll find they, they are very, very sensitive units. And that cap slides back on. Here again, if I was putting this outdoors, I would run a bead of silicone along that. And I would probably run some silicone on the back as well. And keep everything nice and weather protected. The, uh, the brackets are a piece of cake. So I would put the screw in the center one first. That gives you some play for fine adjustment. And with that, we'll go back to our big DSW. Okay guys, we uh, I showed you how to wire in the PIRs. 
and on this job I wired in two of them. I went out and bought myself some nice wire, color coded. Makes life a lot easier. Uh, this door was a little bit of an issue. It is a aluminum skin over a hollow body and I could not get my bracket to meet that frame so I had to add a board. It's not pretty right now so I'm gonna clean that up and get some nice acorn nuts on it but it works for now for demonstration purposes. You know I guess I'm not a carpenter. If I was, this would look a lot better. Probably would have went a lot smoother. And I would consider, you know, a smaller board, you know, just so you can get that mount. And, you know, there's, there's a lot. Like I say, I'm going to add acorn nuts and dress it up a little bit because uh, there's a couple of people that are not going to be happy about this situation. So, as I was saying, we've got two PIRs, one on this side, one on the other. And I mounted this, my hinge is on the right, my arm therefore is closer to the right. I put the PIR out there on the left. And I did that because I didn't want it to see the arm. Uh, secondly, you'll notice that this PIR, I mounted it vertical because the lens focus comes out this way and it's pointed down slightly. So it gives uh, a pretty good range. I'm back, oh, six, seven feet. Well, it's starting to shut and I moved. I'm standing steady. It's shutting. And I'm a long ways from that door. Let's let's back everything up here, and you can see how far away I am from the door before it starts to enter. So I guess I'm about five foot, and I could elevate that PIR a little more. So, I'm, I'm lucky, you know, this is not a complete wall, therefore it's easy to run cable for you guys with pre-existing construction. You're going to have to run your wires on the outside of the wall or get a contractor to run them through the wall. It's all up to you guys how, how nice you want this to look. So, Let's go over to the other side and see the other PIR. Okay, so here we are on the other side of the door. Now, I mounted the PIR on the right hand side of the door opposite the hinge. Here again, I did this because you can't let the, the sensor beam see the door move. If it does, it's going to be in a constant cycle state. That's the trickiest thing about these. Now this one I mounted not a true horizontal, I put a little bit of an angle and I was even thinking about going completely vertical. So then I would have a, a narrow beam that would be out this way. Right now that beam is about like this. Well actually from starting small and expanding big out. So there again, there's my goal. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a carpenter, but it, it works, and these DSWs, they got a lot of force, they really do, it's not enough to just to run a bolt through one, and I'll be, a lot of working on that. So let me show you how this works, I can just walk up to it. There is a little close, and I'd like to see that beam out a little more, so I can adjust that just ever so slightly. Oh, 
okay? And it's shut. So I moved it stopped before it closed. Let's see how far away I am now before this door opens. Okay, it opened before I got there. Now let me demonstrate. When that door starts to close, if I interrupt the steam, it's going to stop. And these two beams, they work in conjunction. Whenever there's motion, we get our red beam cable. So a lot of range. I could speed up that opening speed up a little bit. There's a lot of tweaking to do. And if you're doing for this for commercial, keep in mind we have ADA to work with. American Disabilities Act is the law in this country. Private, residential, you can do what you want. So if this was a true ADA setup, there would be a 30 second hold open time on that door. It started to close, but it's on motion. So I'm happy with this install. I'm not happy with what I have to do to the door. And in the next video, I'll have something a little more stylish for you guys. So with that, I'm going to close things up here. We'll do a wrap and we're going to make a electric start. Have a good day.